Good day, students. I'm Mark Mendoza. In call Mr. M, let's mark up your maths quiz today. In the previous video, you've learned how to find the limit of a function using a table of values. And now, we will find the limit of a function graphically. But before we proceed to that topic, let us have a quick review of limits. The limit of a function simply refers to the value that the y values approach, as you make the x values approach a given number a. In short, as x approaches a, y is equal to f of x approaches l or the limit of the function. So how do we find the limit of a function graphically? Let's discuss a few examples. For example number 1, let's find the limit of the function 3x minus 2 as x approaches 4. Analyzing the graph of the function, focus where x is equal to 4. Then trace along the graph from both sides where x is equal to 4. As you notice, the height of the graph approaches 10. Therefore, we say that the limit of the function is 10. Let's try again another example. Let's find the limit of the function x squared minus 1 over x plus 1 as x approaches negative 1. Analyze the given graph. Try using your fingers to trace along the graph from both sides where x is equal to negative 1. As you notice, both your fingers approach the height of negative 2. Therefore, we conclude that the limit of the function is negative 2. For the third example, let's find the limit of the function 10 over x minus 5 as x approaches 5. As you trace along the graph towards x is equal to 5 from both directions, your fingers do not approach the same height. So what is the meaning of this? This means that the limit does not exist. For our last example, let's find the limit of the function x over x minus 2 squared as x approaches 2. As you trace along the graph towards x is equal to 2 from both directions, the height increases without bound. Therefore, the limit is positive infinity. But wait, you might be wondering why the limit is positive infinity and not d and e or does not exist. Well, technically speaking, if the limit is infinity, it follows that it does not exist. So why not write d and e instead of positive infinity? It is because the limit from the left and from the right happens to be the same, which is both positive infinity. So it is better to write positive infinity to indicate that the function is increasing without bounds positively from either side. Also, remember that the strict use of DNE and limits often happens when the limit from the left is not the same as the limit from the right. Before we proceed to our next set of examples, I want to give you a few reminders in finding the limits graphically. The first one, in finding the limit of f of x as x approaches a from the graph of f, Keep in mind that this is based only on what happens near x is equal to a on the graph. And finally, a limit is a number that the output of a function approaches. So it is the height of the graph near x is equal to a that determines the limit. Now, it is your turn. Please pause the video and try to answer the following problems. And here are the answers to the given problems. And that is how you find the limit of function graphically. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you learned something today. For more videos and content, click the subscribe button and watch out for my next video. Bye!